Hello world! So, two days ago Apple announced new iPads and during the launch event it was revealed that we will get DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. And then all the speculation started whether it was coming soon, if all the functionality of DaVinci Resolve was available at launch, could it handle B-roll and ProRes footage and so on. Well, today Blackmagic officially announced that DaVinci Resolve is coming to the iPad. And what we also got was a lot of facts about DaVinci on the iPad. So let's skip the speculation and focus on the facts and what we do know. First off, DaVinci on iPad will support both ProRes, H.264, 265, Blackmagic RAW, and you can import your footage from either the internal storage on the iPad, via the Photos library, or via external USB-C media disks. So that's great news and that means that you can always do a rough cut when you're on the go and if you have your footage on a disc you just plug it into your iPad and you're off. Another great and frankly very essential thing is that projects on the iPad are standard DaVinci Resolve.drp files. So obviously they will be fully compatible with the desktop version and also filed under great news is the fact that you can host your projects on the Blackmagic Cloud and share with others and collaborate while you're away from your desk. DaVinci on iPad will initially only come with the cut and the color pages, but it will be with the full functionality of those pages and we should expect that the cut page will fully replace the edit page on iPad. Blackmagic says that the edit page was designed to be used with a keyboard and mouse and will be a desktop page only. The edit page could not be used on the iPad without big changes to the way it works. Instead, Blackmagic will continue to expand the functionality on the cut page and we should expect to see quite a few changes to that page in the near future. This will include better audio support, keyframing, split edits, and these features will trickle into the app as they are ready. Since the code for Fairlight and Fusion has not been redesigned for the iPad, these two pages will not be available at launch, but Blackmagic has confirmed that they will continue to work on them and include them at a later date. And finally, Blackmagic announced that we will see DaVinci Resolve for iPad this quarter, so that means within the next 10 weeks or so we will see it as an iOS app. And as for the desktop versions, Blackmagic will launch a free version and a studio version for only $95, which I find is a very good deal. So there you have it, the facts about DaVinci for iPad as of today. I will of course follow this closely and you can expect more videos on the iPad version once we get our hands on it. So if you like this video, please show us some love, hit that like button and consider subscribing and we will be back with other cool stuff very soon. Have a great day.